What is going on lovely farmers and warriors of Tamaris? My axe can't wait. In today's episode we're gonna check out some talent trees for Bakar in Call of Dragons. This is an excellent infantry hero for helping you with your garrison and also doing some damage in the open field. Make sure that you subscribe for more content, turn on the bell notification and never miss out. Like the video, share it with your friends, leave some comments down below. Bakar is a decent infantry hero in Call of Dragons. He has the Garrison Talent Tree branch for helping you protect your city. He also has a good raid skill. You can pair him up with Nika. You have to know something about infantry heroes. Most of them don't have a raid skill damage factor. Therefore, you have to be very careful when you make a talent tree for infantry heroes. Today, it's all about Bakar. He is ready to smash people with his axe. He cannot wait. Let us check out the skills of Bakar and see what's happening here. Rage skill, Grey Claw Fury. Deals physical skill damage to the target legion, damage factor 600. And gains rampage, increasing all damage dealt by 20% for 4 seconds. This is a good talent. If you have Nika as a secondary, I think she should be able to benefit from this damage bonus. Second skill, known as the Boiling Blood. All infantry units in this legion gains 10% physical attack and 10% defense. A very good skill for fighting in the open field. Excellent. Skill number 3. When Bakar's legion is attacked, they have a 10% chance to inflict gloom on the target, reducing their attack by 25% for 4 seconds. This effect can be triggered once every 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds, you will be inflicting gloom on the enemy, reducing their attack by 25%. Now this hero is better at garrison than Mr. Garwood. Now going on to the fourth skill, Tireless Will. Reduces hero skill damage taken by the garrison army by 15% while garrison in a city or stronghold and increases healing by 11%. I mean, it goes all the way up to 15%. Healing is not a good skill to have when you are protecting your city because it can cause your troops to die. However, Bakar does not have any healing in any of his skills, which is great. When we check out the final awakening, when Bakar's legion has less than 50% units remaining, it has a 50% chance to inflict bleed on the target legion when counter-attacking, dealing physical skill damage, damage factor 200 every second for 3 seconds. Now Bakar is gonna be great with Nika in Call of Dragons. Just remember, when you make the talent tree, some infantry heroes don't have a rage skill damage factor. If you wanna protect your city, use Bakar primary and then Nika secondary. We all know that when you protect your city you don't need any healing. This skill here has a healing granted. However, Bakar does not have any healing anywhere. We're gonna try and avoid all the healing for the garrison. Let us check out some talent trees. This is how you should choose which direction to take for your Bakar. Infantry will always be surrounded in the open field. Therefore, you need to go full infantry and then half skills. This is gonna work well for fighting in the open field. If you think you're only gonna use your Bakar for one-on-one -on -one situations, then you might wanna try full skills and then half infantry. You can, you can do the garrison as well here, garrison, and then half skills. This will protect your city with Nika as a secondary. Talent tree number one on the list is known as infantry one. Basically, we went all the way in the infantry direction. This talent tree is going to be great with all the other infantry heroes except for Nika. For Nika, you make a special talent tree with Bakar. This one you can use with Bakar and all the other infantry in the game. So let's see what we are working with. As usual guys, pick some points from here. Grab, so grab some of this stuff. Take this one right here. Let's go in the skills direction. We have this one. We came here and we took the HP. Useful for all infantry heroes. We have this one right here, counter attack. Now you might wonder why I did not take this. Most infantry don't have a rage skill damage factor. Therefore, you are going to benefit with this. Most of the time, your infantry is also going to be surrounded in the open field. When you take this counter attack, it's only going to work with the person that you are attacking. It's not going to affect the other heroes that are swarming you. Therefore, this one is the best. Take this one as well. Go with it. 
Stay away from this one because most of the infantry heroes don't do a good rate skill damage factor. Take this one instead. We are done with the skill direction. Let's go to the infantry. You get some defense right here. Over here, you come and grab this one right here. Your legion takes 0.8% less hero skill damage. This is great if you're using your Bakar as a tank in the open field. Come here and increase your normal attack damage, which is good. If you wanna use Bak if you wanna use Garwood secondary, then you might want to consider this one. Keeping it pushing, you can come here and grab this defense. We also have an attack over here, but this one is gonna be great for open field fights when you get surrounded. And then we have this one. Your legion takes 0.8% less normal attack damage. Another good skill to have when you get surrounded, you reduce the damage and you last long. This counter attack is a must. Infantry have very good counter attack. You have to amplify it with this one. Now this point here is very interesting. Flank protection. 90% of the time when you fight in the open field, your infantry is going to be surrounded. With this skill, your legion take 15% less bonus damage from being surrounded. Now if you take this skill, if you take this talent all the way up to 5, I think it's going to be 75% less bonus damage from being surrounded. It is a very good skill to have. And then at the end, this is the way to go. Ready for battle. Your legion has an 8% chance to launch an extra counter attack when hit with a normal attack. You also have this one right here. I don't think this one is very compelling. So this is the talent tree for Bakar that you can use with any infantry hero in the game except for Nika. Now this one is great for those infantry heroes that don't have a rage skill damage factor. Some of them have rage skill but they are not very significant. Like Madeline 4th skill, you don't want to pick this one for that. You also have Iliana, you don't want to take this one for her. So this is it. Take this for all other infantry heroes. Let's check out the next one. Talent tree number two, known as infantry number two. This one is designed with Nika in mind. This is the best talent tree to use with Bakar and Nika. It will be good for fighting in one-on-one -on -one situations and also in the open field. Let us see the points that we are working with. As usual guys, get the good stuff from here, you come over here. Now let's check out the skills direction we took this. Now this time we came and took the rage skill. Nika has a very high rage skill damage factor. This is something you want. We have another, we have a counter attack here which is great. And then this point is the one you pick for Nika, not for other infantry heroes. This one is just great for Nika. When casting rage skills, your legion's deputy deals 8% more damage the next time they cast a rage skill. This is what you pick for Nika secondary. Now when we go to the infantry direction, the things are the same as the previous one. Except this time we took this one away and we came with Intimidation. Your Legion deals 0.8% more skill damage. So this one, you're going to benefit from it. Both Bakar and Nika will benefit from this. You take this one as well, Adrenaline Rush. And then over here you can go Defense or you can go more Attack. It's gonna be up to you. Either one of these two points is great. I recommend it. And then you come over here, you take this one. Less normal attack damage, which is great. This counter attack over here is a must have. Now it's gonna, it's gonna be up to you to decide if you want to reduce damage from being surrounded or if you wanna get some rage to do a lot of rage skill cycles. It's gonna be up to you. Now I would go with this one because in open field, you're always surrounded. This is gonna be beneficial. At the end, you take this one right here, launching an extra counter attack. I'm not a fan of this one. So this is the talent tree for Bakar with Nika secondary for the open field. Or in the future, if they bring another infantry hero with a good rage skill, this is something to pick. Next talent tree on the list is skills one. This time we're going all the way in the skills direction. Use this talent tree if you plan on using your Bakar only in a one-on-one -on -one situation. However, my recommendation would be 
Talentry Infantry 1 or Infantry 2. Let us see what we are working with over here. So we got usual stuff from the bottom here. Briefly go over Infantry direction. We have already explained this. We have this. We have Rage Scale. We have Normal Attack. And then we have more damage. This is going to be good for one-on-one -on -one situations where you're going to be using your rage skill a lot. We take this one, we get this rage skill, we get this counter, and then we come over here. If you're using your Nika with a, I mean, if you're using Bakar with a hero that does not have a good rage skill, you take this one. Otherwise, you go with this one if your secondary has a rage skill damage factor. And then we have some defense over here. You can switch with this one if you want. Reduce the enemy defense. Now over here things get interesting. You're going to have to mix and match. It's going to be up to you now. This time we went with this one and this one. And then at the end we went with Thirst for Blood. Now this one is going to give you a one-time damage factor. Which is great. If you try to go with this one it's going to take some time to complete. Most of the time enemies run away. You don't get the full benefits. With this one, one time damage factor, you get everything, it's excellent. Next talent tree, known as the scale number 2. It is pretty much the same as the previous one, we just made some changes in two places. Remember how I said you have to do some variations from here? This time we went with this one and this one over here. Everything is the same as the previous one. It's gonna be up to you to decide which direction you wanna go right now. Now if you go in the skills direction, you're looking at fighting in one-on-one -on -one situations. I wouldn't recommend going the full skills for open field. Go the full infantry and then half skills. Next talent tree on the list known as skills rage. This one we made everything in the skills direction. We have a lot of rage with this talent tree. Let's see what we are working with. We added some rage over here which is Launching a normal attack has a 10% chance to grant your legion 10 rage. And then we got more rage from here as well. Being hit with a normal attack has a 10% chance to grant your legion 10 rage. I think it can, goes up to, it can go up to 50 rage if you take the talent to level 5. We have this one here as well. Steady hands. When gaining a buff effect, your legion has a 20% chance to gain synergy. Increasing their hero skill damage dealt by 2% for 5 seconds. This effect can be triggered once every 5 seconds. This is a good one to have for this talent tree build. At the end over here always go with Thirst for Blood. One time damage factor. If enemy run away you still get the full benefit. Next talent tree on the list is called Garrison 1. This is a good talent tree for protecting your city or protecting a pass. Let us see the points that we picked for this talent tree. Now from here you're gonna take this, you're gonna take this, you're gonna take this. You grab this one, you have no choice. When we come in the skill direction, we take this one. We take this rage skill over here for Nika secondary. Bakar primary, Nika secondary. We take this counter attack which is excellent. And then you take this one, increase the rage skill damage for Nika. Let us talk about this counter attack, how it's gonna help you. Now Hosk, if someone rally you with, let's say, Guanwin primary, Hosk secondary, Hosk normal attack is gonna be boosted. But guess what? You have a good counter attack. You're gonna counter attack that normal attack, dealing most of the damage back to them. So these are the points that we have from the skills direction. This is good for Nika secondary, Bakar primary. Now coming over here, we take this. We grab this one. Again, we get some counter attack right here, which is freaking amazing. We come over here. We get the thorn barrier, which is a good one to have. What about this one right here? When you get swarmed. No, in Call of Dragons, people are afraid to swarm your city. This is the way to go. Come over here and grab this one. Looks great. Take this one as well. And then from here we pick this one, Garrison Rampage. And then come to the end over here and grab Formidable. How about this one? 
No one recommends healing when you protect your city. Stay away from this. Do not pick it. You are gonna get more troops going to the graveyard. Not good. Take this one instead. This is Bakar Garrison Talent Tree 1. I mean Garrison 1. Let's check out the next one. Garrison number 2. This one basically you have everything in the Garrison Talent Tree branch. Now I don't really know some of the stuff that I picked for this one. Like I haven't tried it. No one has rallied my city yet. So over here we added some stuff like we, we got this one. Is it this one? Let me zoom out and see properly. So we have this one right here and we have the counter attack as well. Now when we keep moving up, we have this one right here for the watchtower. I don't know much about watchtower. We also have this one right here. Pick this, pick this, take this one at the end. And this is garrison number two. If you decide to go everything with garrison. However, I would recommend this garrison build right here. Garrison one. This is what I recommend for protecting your city. If you have Nika as a secondary, if you are a free to play, this is something you might want to use to protect your city. If you cannot get Madeline primary, use this one to protect your city. All you have to do is get your Nika to 5111 and she will be good to go. She will benefit from this talent tree and give you some good results. And this ladies and gentlemen are all the talent trees for Bakar in Call of Dragons. I tried my best. Let me know what you thought down below. If you are still new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more content. Until then, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.